Greetings, everyone. Well, we're down here at uh, Saks Point Park in uh, Esquimalt, BC. I thought it's been a while since I did one of these on location, so this is a beautiful location. <laughs> you can do pretty much any kind of video down here imaginable. So down here with the family, uh, with Netta and Rosie, just kind of enjoying the day. It's quite nice, actually. The last time we were down here, uh, there was actually a wedding going on, but this time, you know, uh, maybe it's because it's a little colder, I don't know, but there's not too many people around, so i been able to just sort of enjoy the scenery uh, nice and quiet. Um, so I've just sort of been filming around. There was a helicopter that went over by overhead earlier, so I don't know if some aliens landed nearby or what. <laughs> Actually, the uh, in Esquimalt is uh, where the one of the Canadian naval bases is, so I imagine it was something to do with the naval base. Oh, it's actually, uh, I don't know if that's a cruise ship or a oil tanker or what. I think it's a cruise ship, or maybe a ferry. We get a lot of those out here. But, um, yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to come on here and sort of give you a quick update. Uh, you probably noticed I've been putting a lot of my old videos up on the YouTube page. Um, the main reason for that is because of the new widescreen uh, display but also because there's a new uh, feature uh, that actually lets you display everything in high definition, like true high definition. Now even though I don't film all my videos in high definition, by uh, converting them to high def means that it more accurately preserves the original quality. So basically I can downgrade them to the standard widescreen display or I can upgrade the resolution to high definition and have the original quality preserved more accurately. So by getting that high definition option. So I wanted to present some of my old uh, favorites to you like that. Hello. Well, hello. hello. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> and this is Rosie. Rosie's been enjoying the scenery and playing with the birds and saw another little girl earlier and wants to go back to mommy. Okay, here you go. <laughs> so, <coughs> so anyway, I picked basically nine of my personal favorites and some of my more popular videos uh, to get the upgraded treatment. The reason I picked a nine is because if you go on the YouTube profile page, yeah, thank you. Uh, the reason I picked nine is because if you go on the profile page, you can see uh, the, the featured videos that I've put on, on there. Um, and there's nine spaces, so I figured I'd pick nine, so you'll have nine upgraded videos to enjoy. So on there, of course, you got uh, Visits with Cast the Musical, which I really wish more people would watch because it took me like almost two solid weeks of editing to put that thing together. And whatever you think it is, it's not what you think it is. Just go and watch it and be amazed and entertained. Um, Secret of the Pyramid, which of course was the all that was completed for the defunct Two Guys in an Effects Box web serial. Um, and there's been some jerks giving it like really low ratings and I just want to smack them silly because that also took a hell of a lot of work <laughs> and uh, I realized that you know maybe you're disappointed that it wasn't finished and you're angry or maybe you're just jealous because you can't do chroma key and CG as good as me so up yours anyway check that out if you want to uh, see sort of it's basically just plays out as a glorified effects test with some cool uh, effects uh, and then, of course, we have uh, Shaving Day, which I know a lot of you enjoyed, so Shaving Day's on there. And then we've got some older stuff, uh, which isn't widescreen. And the reason this update took so long to get around to doing is because it took me forever to figure out a way to do it properly, that it would give me the high def option, uh, because it's full screen stuff, old 4x3 full screen. So basically, uh, I had to figure out a way to put it into the widescreen frame without uh, compromising the aspect ratio. So what I did was I actually forced it to display it properly with the black bars on the side. So it's basically the old way I used to letterbox things, but the other way around. Uh, so on there you've got stuff like uh, Writer, Buddies, um, what the hell else? Uh, one of my video letter intros. Uh, you got two of my old video blogs. There's Snow, Loudity, Nudity, and Cookies, which is one of my all-time popular ones, which everybody seems to like, so I thought you'd appreciate the upgrade. And then What is Azarin Izarak, which uh, is pretty cool too. So if you've ever had any questions about where my username comes from and what that's all about, that should answer all those questions, including how to pronounce it. Um, and then there's one other one I can't seem to remember at the moment. Anyway, 
go to the profile page and you'll see them all there and uh, or check your subscription list if you're subscribed if you're subscribed and you'll see them all uh, listed there um, so a lot of people are complaining about the widescreen um, the widescreen video window give it a rest seriously if you in case you've been living under a rock all this time like the past six years you will have noticed that it's becoming increasingly difficult to buy a non-widescreen computer monitor or television. You gotta face up to the way the world is going, folks. It's a widescreen world. It has been gearing up to be a widescreen world for a very long time. Full screen is being discontinued, okay? You'll still be able to watch all your old stuff in, in full screen, but the correct way to view full screen material on a widescreen display is with the black bars on the side. It's either view it that way or zoom it in and lose quality, or stretch it out and distort everything. So, there's no way around it. Like, the world is going widescreen, and you can bitch and moan and whine and complain all you want, but it's not gonna change. I mean, how long have I been doing my videos in widescreen? That should be a good, good hint there, because I stay current on stuff like this, and that's why a lot of you watch my videos, because you know I stay current, and why a lot of you ask me for advice on these things. And uh, there you go. So I'm telling you, it's a widescreen world, YouTube's not going to change it back. If anything, I applaud them for, you know, being so forward-thinking as to do that when a lot of other sites are still doing uh, letterboxed 4x3 display. The other thing is censorship. That's become a big issue because there was a post in the YouTube blog recently about uh, censoring or demoting videos that had coarse language or uh, sexually suggestive material. I'm all for the demotion and or removal of sexually suggested material because there's, there's no reason for that crap to be on YouTube. I mean, okay, if you want porn, you're on the internet. It's like the song says, the internet is for porn. It's not going to kill you if they remove it from YouTube. YouTube has always been envisioned by the creators of the site and by the users as a video-based community. And by having porn and sexually suggestive and explicit material on there, it just degrades the overall community atmosphere of the site. So you get all those types of videos getting all the most viewed, and ones where people have actually put some thought into it or some effort into it getting pushed down the list and getting fewer views. So yeah, let's get rid of the porn. I'm all for that. As for coarse language, however, I don't agree with that. I think that, uh, you know, I subscribe to a lot of people who regularly use coarse language in their videos, and I don't see that that's a problem. I mean, most of us learned to cuss when we were like 12 or 13, if not younger, and then it just became integrated as a part of our day-to-day -day language. I think censorship of language is ridiculous. It's akin, it's akin to censoring thoughts, you know? It's just a different way people have of expressing themselves, and I don't, I don't agree with that type of censorship. So I hope that YouTube seriously rethinks things, because they've definitely been getting a lot of negative feedback about that uh, proposed policy change. Um, but I'm all for getting rid of the porn. Just get rid of it. Uh, you know, and the spam. If there's any way you can get rid of the spammers, just do away with them, because they really do diminish the overall quality of the site. <sighs> so, anyway, I just wanted to come on here and let you know about the new stuff, or the new, the new versions of the old stuff. Um, and things like that. So enjoy uh, revisiting those old favorites in better quality than ever before. Uh, the new high def option really does give you as close to uh, my original master file quality as it's possible to give you. And uh, I'm pleased to be able to finally offer my videos in that level of quality. So from now on, you will always have that high def option with my videos, even when it's something like this. So I figured, hey, if we're going high def, Let's get some beautiful scenery in here and actually take advantage of the quality, eh? So, that's it from me to you for now. Uh, coming up next, I got a lot of reviews to do that I've been putting off for way too long. So I'm going to go like gangbusters and do some more DVD reviews because I know you've been waiting for those. And uh, yeah, got a few other surprises planned for a little ways down the road. Between now and the new year, you're going to see some, uh, some serious activity going on on this uh, channel. So, hope you all enjoy that and stick around. In the meantime, let's just enjoy the scenery, shall we?